Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to Nada Propaganda Castle with me, your host, Imperial Dane, here to talk about a particular topic, which is more active machine gun usage. I mean, a lot of players will just, you know, grab a machine gun, maybe two, and just, you know, post them down at certain, you know, vital points, like, say, a carve point, maybe a point near to the fuel point. And while that's not generally a bad idea, in particular, a player likes to push them a lot, at the same time, it does miss out, miss out on a lot of opportunities. It also has some disadvantages, while, well, of course, it does have advantages. And I do think, that at the same time, the advantage of using machine guns more actually though do outweigh the advantage of just seeing with them statically i mean what do i refer to for example in overall and this is probably particularly bad for the early game i mean it can allow you to make your more decisive engagement for example you can suddenly suppress you know a unit here and there for example i mean rifle scores can be pretty difficult for say folks to deal with but if there's an md34 suppressing the bastards or for grenadiers for example md42 suppress them all of a sudden the fight goes more in your favor you can that way more actually push forwards and drive the enemy backwards using the machine gun plus you can certainly force them more into sort of cover so in that regard already there though an early machine gun then being actually utilized by you know an axis player for that matter an ally player 50 calibers vickers maxims can do a lot they sort of drive the uh, battlefield forward for the player actually using the machine gun actually you can do a lot more damage that way gain more experience faster, which is also a bonus. And overall, you're just, you know, using resource. Again, I'm not saying you should never put a machine gun into a house, you know, have it sit there. In particular, later in the game, we have a lot to manage. That can have an advantage to allow you to manage other things. But at the same time, you know, in particular, the early game, again, having a more active machine gun, I think, has a lot more benefits. It can allow you to press, push, and you know, gain more ground. An extra machine gun also has another advantage, where, you know, static machine gun, you know, once it fires, is pretty much a known entity. An active machine gun is, you know, an unknown entity to your opponent. They never co not quite know where it is. You know, it's like you know, you know, the villain in a horror movie. You know, you never quite know where he is with that knife. In this case, with the machine gun. You know, he could be there behind those trees. Behind there, he could be right next to you. Well, obviously not right next to you. But you're obviously in a position right to shoot you down. And that right, you know, makes the you know roaming machine gun or active machine gun flying machine gun they like to call it you know a lot more dangerous because it's an unknown factor you can never quite flank it because well i mean you can get lucky but at the same time you know, what if you're not i mean then in case you're suppressed your entire assault goes you know down the drain in that regard you know an active machine gun actually becomes a much greater asset plus it's also a lot more useful against say you no know, mortars again they can't shoot you if they don't know where your machine gun is so again in that regard, an action machine gun offers a lot more advantages. I mean, again, I'm not saying you shouldn't use them defensively at all, but just more to consider active machine gun usage more because a lot of players will just, you know, pretty much only use them statically and then move them here and there to hot spots, never trying to use them to support your infantry. In that regard, it would probably more make sense to consider the machi machine gun team more like, you know, a light machine gun team, how it's supposed to operate on, rather than just, you know, being extra firepower for your infantry squad and more separate team that supports your infantry, for example. I mean, doing that, you know, would, well, you know, also, you know, highlight more the offensive nature, but you're doing that again, can sort of shift position, flank and pin down defender, for example, then allowing your infantry to flank them, and again, if they then try to act to the infantry flanking them, they get suppressed. So in that regard, you know, an active machine gun offers your infantry a lot more flexibility, a lot more firepower on the move, on the defensive opposite. Again, I'm not saying, you know, don't use defensively either at all, but again, more to consider offensive usage more active usage and again the trick might be then how do i manage this you know it can be tricky and in that regard the key is basically attack move the mg will actively you know automatically set up there once the unit comes within range when you attack move with it i mean you manage the infantry in front of it of course that's the important part here you in manage infantry in front of the machine gun and then you use the machine gun at max range using attack move that way you can actually deal and suppress a lot of things there for example that way you can focus more on the infantry and as long as you you know, got a reasonable clear idea where your flanks are where the enemy is again you don't have to worry so much about the machine guns and that regard attack moving with your machine guns can offer you a bit you know Ability to focus on your frontline troops to get them into proper positions while the machine gun then of course takes advantage of the infantry screening machine gun to then you know focus just on shooting down the infantry. That kind of usage can then allow you a lot more freedom and over again just more offensive firepower and that way you can also use the machine gun more offensively because again you won't be paying attention to the machine gun so much more on the infantry in front of it and of course in case something flank happens you can you just quickly retreat it but again active machine gun usage i do think for example once i've you know been playing a lot of ammo i find to be one of the sort of things that allows me to win a lot more as the axis than just sitting about with it passively because again an active machine gun can allow me to more decisively dictate how an engagement is supposed to go and can also allow for example my grenadiers to have more firepower and overall all that i can control the enemy infantry a lot better so 
again, consider using your machine guns more actively. And again, it's going to take a bit of practice, it's going to get, take a bit of trying, but as you get better at it, you'll also get a lot more rewards from it. And again, some situations might require more static machine gun. Again, later in the game, we have a lot more stuff to manage, obviously. And obviously, the game you a lot more on the defensive. It doesn't matter so much. But even then, you know, occasionally just shifting about a bit, you know, doing a bit more of your machine gun has a lot of power because, again, it's the power of the unknown. And in that regard, your opponent never wants to deal with a machine gun suddenly appearing out of nowhere. That's basically one of the worst nightmares for any sort of infantry play. That it's a machine gun not supposed to be there. You know, good lord, what's that machine gun doing there? Terrible Huns, you know, playing those tricks on us. So, do keep that in mind, you know, as a machine gun player, again, it doesn't have to be the Germans, it can also be the Allies, you know, Vickers, 50 cal, but Maxim, it all applies there. You don't just you know, have to sort of back with them, you can use them to support the infantry as they attack enemy positions, and that way, you know, gain more firepower as you attack forwards. And against suppressing defenders, keeping them, you know, fixed in one spot. If they try to fight in the open, they'll get quickly punished. You can also use to maybe cover against flanks doing an assault or anything else like that. So it does offer a lot of opportunities. Plus, machine guns tend to be, I think, quite handy in you clearing out support weapons. For example, anti-tank or the likes can quickly get cut down by a machine gun crew as well. So that also offers a few advantages there. So I think that sort of all covers a bit on this little topic here of just using a machine gun more actively. It's something I've been sort of considering off as I've been just playing pretty much only Wehrmacht until, you know, they buff the Wehrmacht, nerf the hours a bit. They are pretty much just been a process form just playing Wehrmacht only. And in that regard, one of the bigger things we've just discussed that sort of makes a huge difference for the Wehrmacht is using your machine guns actively. I mean, really, there's a huge difference in how I do in a match if you use my machine guns passively or use them actively. Active use of the machine gun, in particular in the early game, tends to result in a lot bigger gains, a lot more progress, and thus a little bit of mid to late game since again over got a better start off as compared to just using them passively. There's not so much ground gain, the machine guns just collect dust, and they just don't get enough experience. Whereas again, active machine gun use means more experience as the game progresses. So yeah, again, I just wanted to impart this bit of knowledge to all players, hopefully and to improve their game pro pool. A bit like you know that video on the Ostwind, which again seems to have an effect there, so hopefully this will also catch on a bit more for players, and hopefully they will lastly come to enjoy Company of Gene more. So, if you enjoyed this, like this video, do consider you know, subscribing, liking and sharing, commenting on it, you know, what are your thoughts on this? So this is Imperial Dane signing off, and hope to see you all another time for another video. Cheers, everybody.